three different CPUs, same exact GPU. We are gonna test and compare today the RTX 2060 inside the Gateway Creators Edition, the Lenovo Legion 5 and the HP Omen 15. As promised before, long awaited video. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hardware SS channel. My name is Ivan and today, as promised before, we are gonna compare the RTX 2060 inside the Gateway Creators Edition, the Lenovo Legion 5 and the HP Omen 15. All these three different laptops have different CPUs. The Creators Edition have the Intel Core i5 10300H, 4 core 8 threads. The Lenovo Legion 5 has the higher Core i7 10750H. This is 6 core and 12 threaded processor. And last but not least, we have the Omen 15, which has the Ryzen 7 4800H. 8 cores, 16 threads. On paper, that CPU is supposed to be the best one and probably is when it comes to productivity. But you guys see on previous videos and you're gonna see on this one, the temperatures are very, very, very high. So I really don't personally recommend this one. But again, it's up to you what you wanna do and how you wanna spend your money. Without further ado, we're gonna jump in straight into the gaming comparisons and then we're gonna go on to the conclusion.
weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo barrier. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Alrighty, conclusion time, long awaited. You guys see the gaming comparison between these laptops and I've hinted that before, numbers are very interesting. Without me getting further into the details, I'm gonna say my personal favorite, especially for the price, it's the Gateway Creators Edition. For $650 that I personally paid and a lot of other people paid, this laptop is unbeatable not only because of the way it's constructed, all the ports, but performance wise. You guys see in the gaming performance, the Gateway Creators Edition stacks in between the Lenovo Legion 5, which takes the number one spot, and the HP Omen 15, which is at the bottom, simply because we have many, many different options on that. Not only we can undervolt and get better temperatures, but overall, the construction of the cooling solution is a lot better. The metal housing of the, of the laptop helps a lot as well. So we are seeing a very low temperatures, and at the same time, the performance is higher uh, than the HP Omen 15. And keep in mind, this laptop is $650 and the HP Omen 15 is $1,300. So, so double the price for exact same performance or even lower if we're considering the temperatures. So why would you spend the money for that laptop? It's definitely beyond me, unless you really want that 144 Hertz screen or you really are planning to somewhat cool it with maybe cooling pads, which I don't think it's gonna bring the temperature down too much, maybe a couple degrees, but I mean, 104 while gaming, that is way too hot. And again, I can't even imagine if you're running multiple video editing softwares, you know, you're running DaVinci and you, you know, doing all kinds of processing in the background, that temperature is gonna be uh, really going up and you're definitely gonna thermal throttle. So I don't see it personally, this is way too expensive for the performance that it's providing. So I'm have to completely exclude that one from uh, my list of recommendations. Hopefully they can do some better things with the cooling solution with the new generation coming up, Ryzen 5000, 3000 series uh, GPUs from Nvidia. Uh, now between the Gateway and the Lenovo Legion 5, clearly the winner is the Lenovo Legion 5. Better screen, much better cooling solution, a lot of options to overclock uh, even the GPU, disable Optimus. Oh, that's another thing that the HP is failing. You cannot disable Optimus, hence the uh, FPS results are a lot lower. I'm 100% sure if HP allows us to disable Optimus and have only the dedicated graphics card running, uh, those results will go up a little bit. But at this point, uh, you're not able to do it, not from the software, Omen Gaming Hub, not from the BIOS, so really it's not not that good. Uh, again, back to the Lenovo Legion 5, uh, very, very well done cooling solution. I'm extremely surprised how well this cooling solution is performing and comparing it not only against the other laptops with RTX 2060, but even with the MSI G66, which is so much more expensive, double the price, it has the exact same CPU and that other laptop was hitting close to 100 degrees Celsius, where this one, this is a huge difference in temperatures. Uh, while gaming, doing other productivity, uh, this laptop stays cool and relatively quiet compared to everybody else. A lot of options to expand storage, a lot of ports. The only one that I'm miss really missing is the SD card, as mentioned before, but you know, you can add one on the USB and off you go. But if we have to comment on the games and the performance, clearly the Legion 5 leads. And I mean, I'm actually surprised by how much more on some of the games. And you will see compared to the Gateway and the HP, we have six, seven, sometimes 10 FPS more. 
and this is the exact same settings across all three laptops i'm not using the performance mode on the lenovo legion 5 uh, i keep it in auto just like the other laptops i keep everything on auto uh, that way it's not unfair advantage when you know overclocking or anything like that but still you see 99 fps compared to the other ones are having within 80s which i don't know i ran it a couple times i'm still getting the same result so a much much better performance with with this laptop um so if you can afford it if you have that budget and especially if it's in, on sale like it was at around uh, at the end of the last year around a thousand dollars it's still a good deal but again new generations are coming so really it's not advisable to make big uh, purchases when it comes to laptops at this specific moment back a couple months ago yeah that was that was a clear winner uh, if you have the budget but the ultimate and ultimate winner not only because of the performance but the pricing for me is the gateway $650 you're getting within a couple of FPS uh, differences between the Omen 15 which is double the price and the Legion 5 which is almost double the price you're getting a couple frames less I am willing to sacrifice that in order to get this kind of a deal super cheap $650 yep the screen is not the 240 or the 144 you're having a 120 hertz screen but it's still very good i mean it's not the best but yeah it's it's good enough for me uh, especially if i have uh, other desktops and other computers around the house and this is one this one is just to take to the un another room and just play games when i'm doing something else right so for me the gateway creators edition is the clear winner across all the laptops just because of that lower price. Now, if we are creeping up towards the $800, obviously uh, I'd rather spend another 200 and grab the Lenovo Legion 5. But at $350 cheaper, clearly the Gateway Creators Edition is the number one pick for me because across uh, everything, when it comes to performance, temperatures, design, number of ports that I can use covers everything. Portability is just, it's just great for me. This is the clear winner. Obviously the Omen 15 is out of the picture. I'm not gonna recommend that one at all, but between the Legion and the Creators Edition, the Gateway wins because of the price. If you want the best performance out of your RTX 2060 and a little bit of better processor when it comes to productivity, clearly the Legion 5 is the winner here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I can ramble all day about these laptops. But again, at this time, unless you see those in the same exact prices that I got them uh, on sale, don't spend your money, wait a little bit, a month, maybe less than a month, and we're gonna start getting some of those newer laptops with newer processors, both from Intel and AMD, and newer graphics cards, the 3000 series from Nvidia. So these are going to be a very reasonably uh, priced and their performance is gonna be a lot better than any of these that I showed you. And as soon as any of those come uh, on the market, I'm definitely gonna grab at least one or two uh, to test on the channel. And you guys are gonna see uh, the performance differences. And we're gonna compare them with, with these older generations, see how much more progress we made with the newer generations graphics cards and processors. That's pretty much it guys. Next video is gonna be undervolting on the Gateway Creators Edition. I'm gonna make a short video. A lot of people have been asking me about this. I'm gonna make a short video about how to undervolt and we're gonna compare the performance between undervolted CPU and the stock. Spoiler alert, there are no differences in performance, but quite a good difference in temperature. We're dropping down five to six degrees Celsius on the CPU, which is excellent. But again, there'll be a separate video on this one. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell notification. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.